So my goal here is to take you through um, the deadlift, how we teach it in the gym. What I'd really like to get across, and I want to break it into digestible chunks here, but um, this first part of the series, I want to go through the kettlebell deadlift and the dumbbell deadlift. And one of the reasons why we use our kettlebell deadlift first to teach the movement is because I like to make all my mistakes first with the lighter weights. Um, and it kind of helps teach you like what's a good pattern, what's a bad pattern. So um, this is going to piggyback off of our like hinge tutorial good morning series that we did, good morning complex series, where you're really trying to groove that, um, that deadlift pattern. So again, just kind of a quick refresher, but the big thing is we want to be able to keep, as you're reaching back, you're keeping vertical shins here, your butt's reaching back, and you're trying to almost make sure your shoulders are over your arches of your feet. So a lot of times people come and they're like here, so their shoulders are way in front. We want to try to reach those shoulders back as much as you can so they're over the arches of your feet, shins are vertical. So forms that we don't really want to see is knees are forward, but this is more of a squat position. Right, even just slightly forward here. We don't want you uh, rounded at all. We want to make sure that the spine is prioritized. Again, we go through all this in our hinge and good morning series. So, um, this next piece that we'll go through is uh, the dumbbell and kettlebell deadlift. 